welcome, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back to the Sharpshooters Podcast. I am your humble and gracious host, Mr. B Sharp on the ones and twos. Make, t- make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Tonight, we got a good show as always. I got my guys in here. Not everybody, because everybody got family stuff going on. But we'll see them boys next week. But we got even a special guest in the house. Look at the so fellas. We got my boy Arlon up in the building, man, as always. My lawyer, man. I call him a lawyer, everybody. He, he's really my lawyer. Unofficially, but he's still my lawyer. I don't care what he say. Unofficially, but officially. Yeah, yeah, one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and then, ladies and gentlemen, one half of the Water Coolers Talk podcast, my boy, Johnny Fold. <laughs> boy, I ain't heard that since high school. Boy, boy oh baby, <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. The four sticks is in Mr. the building Foles tonight, ladies and, stuff, ladies and gentlemen. If, and if y'all don't know that, that's Tuskegee, Alabama, yes, making county to be exact. But man, how y'all gentlemen doing tonight? Can't complain, brother. Can't complain. We're good, man. Yeah, good man. Football this weekend. Yeah, y'all, it's going to be a little short show tonight. It's all good. I wish it could have been longer, but it's all good. It's good to have a little short show. But the last topic I think y'all want to be in here for, because we're going to be talking a lot of mess on that one. But to kick things off, you already know Tennessee versus Alabama. You already know the Tide. Roll, rolling. They just rolling, man. I just told no, I try to tell folks. I ain't saying nothing to them. But also hey. Tennessee versus Alabama and the refs. So we're gonna blame the refs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be, he he wanna be one of those people tonight. Uh, we all saw the game. I got you. You wanna be one of them Tennessee fans? Hey, hey, hey. We all saw the game. Oh, hey. did you see last year's game? We talking about this year's game. No, 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 no. I'm asking, did you see last year's game? I'm asking for a recall. reason. I don't recall. Oh, that. I bet you don't recall, but guess <laughs> what? We got all the calls against us last year. I'm, I'm sorry that we played d- discipline, unlike Tennessee. I ain't tell – so it was on the refs that they scored – Nothing in the second half. I was just gonna say Tennessee had y'all. They let y'all off the hook. Like you they can't, do, you can't play, play a good team like them. Like that. that what defense do? Unlike you can't play a good team like them. Like unlike them Auburn Tigers. Hey, nah, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. But hey, don't we're we're talking about Bama that. right here. We, we talk that. about them little, that. little yes, whatever uh, y'all want to call y'all. Say that bald eagle that you got over there, but. Man, the guys looking good, man. We rolling over there right now, man. I just said, man, just let the team get some time to uh, be around each other. We got new coordinators, new everything, just new players. Well, for the secondary, for the most part, shout out to Caleb Downs, as always. But, uh, man, we, we just building each and every week, man. And I really believe we can make a run towards the national title. What are y'all thoughts on the game? I think y'all got y'all stuff together. I think y'all was struggling in the beginning of the year to find y'all way. But as Nick Saban does, Nick Saban makes adjustments and find ways to put people in position to win. Um, I feel like. This game was supposed to be a test, which it was early on. You see Nick Saban settle the troops and settle them down. Miro, like I said previously on our show, uh, he's that guy. He, To me, he's that guy going forward. To, if y'all are going to make a push for a championship, he's that guy that's going to put y'all in position to do that. Um, y'all defense is stepping up. I still think y'all a little suspect run defense, and I can't wait to see a good running back like the one in Kentucky. Do some, do some, but you know, you know, we'll we we'll wait on it. You said we'll in all on. the positions that 
we're suspect at run defense. Hey, y'all, y'all, the secondary is the best thing on y'all team this year. Caleb Downs and, and, and Kool that's, that's debatable, but you said run defense is Man. suspect. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, don't worry. Kentucky going to get their chance. We're going to revisit this. Too. That's that's one. That's not really fair because Kentucky can't throw the ball. So he's going to load the ball. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank so, you. so, but, but to be clear, Kentucky can run the ball, but they're just going to load the box. Um, who gonna, who's who's going to. Look, you can't be an SEC team if you can't throw the ball. That, the secret's up. You know, if you can't throw the ball, you're not going to be the SEC team. That's just it. The top ones, if you can't throw the ball, you're not going to win. Alabama had a – they had a clean game. Uh, I think – how many – they had one, two penalties maybe? They one. had a – yeah, one penalty. It was just a false start penalty. It should have been perfection yeah. out there, but, hey, we – nobody's perfect. Y'all far from perfect. Y'all yeah. y'all played a, y'all played a clean game, though. Uh, I, two, I know two somebody on that show had us – Losing every time you kept picking against us, we should have like five losses right now. I ain't gonna say no names. I ain't, I ain't pick against y'all too many times. I ain't pick against y'all. I don't think y'all as good as y'all were in the past, but I don't think y'all are as bad as the world seems to think. Well, that's um, awesome. you know, they're letting Jalen, they're letting Jalen take the top off the offense, they're letting him throw a deeper ball, which I think he has a pretty accurate deep ball. Um Tennessee had this game. Tennessee had this game. It was the tale of two halves. You gotta, you gotta play, you gotta, you gotta play both halves of the game. They played one half of the game, and the 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 bad part about it is if you if you take a look at the the box score, the you know the box stats and the team stats, Tennessee has won almost all of them. Uh, total yards, passing yards. They're down a few rushing yards. They have more first downs. Uh, they have more total plays. You know, it's the penalties. The penalty came down to the penalties, time possession. And, you know, you sprinkle in a little help from the refs here and there. You got an Alabama win. Like I said, man, I can't help that you don't score not one single point in the second half. If you want to blame that on the ref, my brother, be my guest. Haters going to hate. But, hey, I know you're an Alabama hater, but you just hate seeing us win. But, like, we got a week off, so you get to rest, rest that voice of yours from the hate. We ain't got to talk about Alabama come next week because we we got that bye week. So it's all good, man. Like I said, man, we, we just – Yes, the quarterback position. I we just been spoiled, like I said many times on this show. We've been spoiled over the years with Bryce, Jalen, Mack, and Tua. We just been spoiled over the years. When you get those type of quarterbacks and then you fall back like that, it feels like the early days of having us with Jake Coker and AJ McCann and whoa. I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. respect for a little bit. Jay Coker was a gamer, boy. Yeah, because Jay, Jay Coker Jaylen really was yeah, Jay Coker really wasn't no passing quarterback like that. Trust me, you can watch every game. I I did. I I definitely remember I what game you I, were against this team. Actually, Jay Coker actually came out to a tremendous start managing the game before because they they were slowing your boy Derrick Henry down. If you can remember correctly, yes. That's what I'm saying. And you telling me uh Jay Coker did Jalen Miro is playing way better than uh Jay Coker now. I'm just saying, like, don't disrespect Jay Coker. I would that. say, I would say honestly, Miro reminds me of Jalen Hurts when he first got there with a better deep ball. No. Mm. Mm. Jalen, Jalen was better coming in. Really? Jalen was definitely better. So. Jalen Miro has a better accurate deep ball than Jalen Hurts ever did at Alabama. Is it? He throws a really that's good deep cool ball. and all. That's cool and all, but that doesn't mean he was he was better. And so I tell don't me think what they aspect utilized. of the game that Jalen Hurts had has Miro beat on. As a, as, as, a, as an Alabama player, not Oklahoma, not as an Alabama quarterback. No, no, hold on. What did you say again? 
I said, tell me what aspect of the game that Jalen Hurts, as the Alabama quarterback, was better than Miro. Shorter intermediate game. He can run the ball. He has a sense of awareness. Miro can run the ball. Shorter no, intermediate all, game. Jalen can run the ball. That remains to be seen. So timid. He acting like how when Bryce first got put into the lineup or whatnot, and Bryce, like, for the first, like, Six or seven games, I was like, "Bro, Bryce, run! You know you can run. It's like clear opening, but he just won't run." I was about to say he had timid sometimes. Don't want to run. He want to just just sit in the pocket. But Jalen is a better player than uh, Jalen Miro, bro. You can ask any Alabama fan that. As at Alabama, you can add at Alabama. Stop it. You put you put I put it like this. You put Jalen Miro. No, I mean you put Jalen Hurts on this team right now. He'll get replaced no, in the that's national not, championship. That's he'll get replaced he'll be in the struggling. national championship. We would not be struggling as bad as we are on okay. the uh, passing end. I think he he was better in the intermediate throws, but that's because he didn't. I don't think he threw the deep ball as accurate. So the the so when they created the offense for Jalen, they allowed him to throw intermediate passes and run the ball. I think they fell in love with Milrose's potential of the deep ball. To where they kind of stifled stifled his run because as an athlete, Milrose can run like a four two four three. He attracts stuff, so oh, he man. had to keep building. Same person who oh, got in with Bryce Young, who replaced Bryce Young last year, and that's all he did was run the football. Bruh, he he can go. So yeah. I, I just think they didn't use him correctly, and I think as they're starting to see what he's comfortable doing. They're, you know, they're opening the offense to complement the skill set more. But I don't think there's too much of a difference between the two, um, Hertz and Milro. I don't think Milro's that bad of a quarterback. Well, I no, I don't think he's a bad quarterback. But the question was, he said, he said he's better than Jalen Hurts, which he's not. I said, <laughs> as as him at Alabama. They have yeah, the you, same exact skill set, probably just a little different. You, you they, they remind me of the same exact player. Trust me, we ain't never feel no type of way at the quarterback position when about how we feel about Jalen. Well, why y'all how replace we him? Felt about Jalen Hurts. Well, why y'all replace him? What you mean? Why we replace him? If you didn't feel any type of way about him, what if he you didn't? If saying. he had all the intangibles that you like, why did y'all? Bench was him a better school? passer. That, that that's just facts. Of course. That we that's what y'all want. That's what y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm just saying it, you, it wasn't no question about it. He he just stunk up the place in the Georgia game okay. or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Then Tua came in, saved us, and the rest is history. But those that that was just a fact. He's Tua is better than majority mm-hmm. of the passers in the NFL. I don't disagree with that, but you said but that. we talking about. But listen, to what you're saying. You talking about a guy that replacing Jalen? I'm about to say. When you talking about just passing the ball, it's not too many people that can pass the ball better than two. Especially not accurate wise. Two is a way, way better player. Quarterback wise. I'm talking about just strictly being a quarterback. Jalen would never uh, be uh, as hey, hey, by the way, didn't didn't that same guy just outdo a tour this Sunday? By the way, yeah. just just throwing it out there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But do you not know this? <laughs> I was just saying, I was just thought you know, like, we, we, we talking talk we talking that noise tonight. We're gonna talk that noise. Okay, but I guarantee you, just wait till we you get to that what? topic. I guarantee you, I'm about to expose a lot of that. And both of my boys, but hey, like I said, Tennessee, uh Josh Hypo took that L, they put the little gold poles in the uh river and all that. They hating the fans crying about the fish aid and all that. But clearly, they didn't watch last year's game. But oops, what do I know? What does but that have hey, to do with last year's game? Because last year what does was have to do with it. Like, sir, as a you honest, said, twenty penalties with your take integrity, and we lost by three. You, you, with your take integrity, watching this last game, you don't think there was like just a little biased officiating, just a little bit, just a little what? bit. How would they buy it? Korea, so. no, no, no. I'm just asking you. That's a yes or no. Yes or no. no. Okay. It wasn't okay. the best officiating, but what game is? You can point out if you really want to go there. 
If you really want to go there, I like when Rod rode down, <sighs> you, you had yes, Williams I don't went go down, and the Tennessee player hit him upside the head, which is supposed to be a targeting call. That would have been another penalty that they didn't call. That's one. Okay. Clearly, if you look at any holding call, like any of them calls, like bro, they were holding. You can't hook a man every time <laughs> I'm trying to uh, go get the guy. The guys are spinning around. I can't help that you're doing that. And the referee is seeing that. That's your fault. Your fault starting. I can't help that you're moving before the ball is snapped. These are all you can watch every. You know, how about I was this? thinking, I was thinking more so about you know, like that holding call that wasn't called on the tight end when mm -hmm. uh Tennessee had to take the field goal. I was thinking about stuff like that. But yeah, I understand what you mean about you know the false starts and everything like that. I get so what, that. That's I what I'm it. saying. You point you talking about one thing. I just named probably about like five things. Yeah, everybody yeah, gonna yeah. miss if, if if in a game, bro. Everybody gonna probably miss a call or two. But if you just talking about, I'm talking about the stuff that happened. What you what? want me to do about the stuff that happened? I mean that that holding did happen. No one just called it. That's what I'm saying, but. Calls of being missed, cat? and I just it told him call that they missed. They clearly missing it, and the referee looked right at him when he was coming down. He was so called trying to hit the ball out, but he hit the man in the head. That's targeting, whether you like it or not. That's a personal foul. What you what you thought about the fair catch? You can't do that. You can't spread your arms out. Right. That's that's called. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Anything that you are saying. They have said on the broadcast booth, and they said with the official, you cannot do these things. It's Tennessee's fault, and it's, you can you can come up with excuse after excuse. I'm going to tell you like this. Look at every single penalty that Tennessee got, and they showed the penalty. You can't argue the penalty. I'm just saying. I'm sorry that you guys were undisciplined. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's not our fault. It's not our fault you go for it on fourth and one twice and don't get it. Midfield, whoops. It's not oh, our man, fault you scored 27 0 in the uh we scored 27 0 in the second half and y'all don't do nothing. Whoops. Uh, what you want us to do? To like I said, to we the smoking great, them stogies. To the great gonna, state of they, they tried to sing Rocky Top all night, but guess what? We singing this year. Sweet home, Alabama. I love, I love your whiskey. I just want when I come back, y'all just continue to welcome me with open arms. His name is Brent Skishard. Yeah. So when you see him, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> damn right. And get what? We're going to sing Sweet Home, Alabama all night mm. long. In other news, Florida, Georgia, this mm. weekend. The world's biggest cocktail party. I'm going to go to this game one day to figure out if it, this really true. Like, I don't know, man. But this is going to be a big game, so-called. Well, this is really the only big game I've seen for this week, for real, outside of, um, outside of Oregon and Utah. But Florida and Georgia is more intriguing because it could – because yeah, upset. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think so, only because of Brock Bowers being out. Yeah, that's why that's, that's why I was gonna ask you. Do you think this game is gonna be closer because of Brock Bowers being out? It all depends. I don't think Florida can stop the run against these guys. I don't disagree with that. And I but I just think they got better athletes. And then their defense. It's not like how it was in the past, but at the same time, what it's not like how it was in the past. You ain't got a Jalen Carter, you ain't got a Nicobe Dean, you ain't got a Jaden Davis, you ain't got uh all, of them right go, all those guys or whatnot. But it's still you have one of my easily one of my favorite guys in college football, Malachi Stark. Shout out to him. One of the uh best players in college football playing safety. Like, those guys still have defensive players out there. So, it's going to be fun to see them uh, match up. But I still – I last time I checked, I think it was like a 14-point uh, swing. 
for uh, they giving uh Florida fourteen points. But I mean, I always get that stuff from uh, parlay purposes. You know, I got my yeah for parlay purposes. They would you, uh, would you take that parlay? Huh? I said for parlay purposes. Would you take that parlay with Georgia? What are we doing? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I I don't think I would too many points, but I don't know. I you gonna it have to be a game time decision. Okay, but I don't know. It, it, it's intriguing, though. But I take it. I take okay. it. Georgia. Oh, what um? What Florida's uh two touchdowns? They giving Florida two touchdowns? Yeah. Yeah, I take it. Um, just. Off the off the skill and eye test, Georgia has to win. But looking at the intangibles, you know, the 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 gap kind of shortens. They're going to be in Florida now. Granted, they'll be in Jacksonville, but they're going to be in Florida. Um, and that thing is going to be fifty percent Florida and fifty percent Georgia in there. It's, it's, it's going to be huge. They playing at uh, the Jag Stadium. I mean, yeah, what they huge, play. but but Florida, uh, man, they they just show up for Florida down here. They just show up for Florida. So, um, you're gonna have that atmosphere going. Although Georgia has the better athletes, I think it's a closer game than most think, just because of the type of game it is. And um, Georgia's vulnerable this year. They're good. They're good, but they're vulnerable. And yeah. also, what they what 28, 28, 28 game one streak, all record, you know, all streaks meant to come to an end every week. Sure. You know, we get closer to the streak ending. Well, only thing about that, I don't want it in because I got some money down against this, so <laughs> so it don't need to be this week. It don't need to be this week. Hey, ne- maybe next week, not this week, right here, yeah, Sean. Yeah, it can be next week for all I can. <laughs> Just don't be this week. <laughs> not this week. Not I was trying not to week, say it, man. Like, not this week. Let's not do that. Yeah, I, I, I got them on my parlay boy too for that fourteen point spread. So you know, mm-hmm. I, I, I was hoping that they, they, they cash out that week. Yeah, I've been straight up with somebody that I like. Mm. Just gutsy, you took it with, without Bowers. Yeah, Man, I, 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 no, I, like person, I feel like Florida defense the, uh, is, season even is, started. is trash. Mm-hmm. Florida has a trash defense this year. Yeah, and I feel but, like if Carson Beck can get out to a hot start, it and and the running game manages the clock. I feel like it might get out of hand for Florida. Yeah, but at yeah least, he has, I, been, at least playing, he has been playing better, especially against that Kentucky game. But like, like Kentucky, said, that threw early, out Florida. Kentucky can't pass, bro. Kentucky but, cannot pass at all. But guess what? Guess what they did on Florida? They ran the ball. Well, well the thing about it was, I think because they ran they so do well, against Georgia. They run, they the ball. They ran the ball. so well, they matched the pass. And I think, I think like from that Missouri loss, when Missouri just dared them, like, hey man, y'all got throw it. Okay, we gonna, mm-hmm. we gonna give it to you. You just gotta make the throw. When everybody saw that, you know, people people understood, but Florida didn't know they couldn't throw until, you know, after too late. That. Yeah, it's too late. Well, hey, get what? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> Man, that's what I'm saying, bro. With the things that Georgia can do to them, if if um, I forgot uh, Davis' first name from Kentucky. I think his name Ray Davis. Yeah, Ray Davis. Yeah, Ray Davis can run all over Florida defense with the type of offensive line, with the type of athletes that they have on the old line. What you think Georgia about to do? That's what I'm saying. That's what I hope. That's why I took the point spread. Yeah. So it and please don't let them just run the ball at will because they they probably would never pass. <laughs> if they, <laughs> they, if they take pass. Carson Beck out the game, bro, it really might get out of hand. Yeah, because that like I said, really- when they played Kentucky, like he went off just passing on himself. He was passing. He got real, real comfortable just passing all over them. Yeah. So, but that's why I said if Florida cannot stop the run, if it's 
I can put it like this. If Georgia consistently getting four yards a carry, it's going to be a long day for them. If they consistently running for four yards a carry, it's going to be a long, long day, which I hope so. I didn't want to make sure that's out there. Hey, Jordan, I'm not a fan. Me it was me. Hey, give me a give me a score prediction, you guys. Which y'all think that score gonna be? 35-14. Hey, hey, be saw. Hey, hey, you took what? Hey, you magical, boy. You read my mind with that one. 28. Oh, for real? Yeah, I had 35-14. You said we going with the same score? I mean, yeah, the same score. score. I had 35-14. Yeah. 28-14. Hey, we still get the way? money. Oh, joy. Oh, come on, man. I'm from there. <laughs> hey, he, he, I don't even care, bro. I just need these boys to blow these boys out early so I can go ahead and just be like, hey, send me my cash I out. I don't think it's going to happen early. No I think I think the I think it, I think it happened. Maybe around the third quarter, man. I think they just wear them boys down over time. Yeah, I don't even I think they that. take to the air that crazy. I, they just run and pound the ball. Hey, man, that's why the games need to be played. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. We on CBS. Shout out to CBS. Well, gentlemen, we you already know. NFL Week 7 recap. Marcus kind of talked about one of the games I wanted to talk about. You can talk about whatever game because there's so many games. But that was definitely the primetime game. I felt like of the year so far, just just height-wise with Tua and uh, Jalen. And both my guys, you know, it was Alabama all out there, just so much road tied out there on both. Oklahoma. Team. Just want to throw that out there. There's just a few names. Just little Julio Jones, Devontae Smith, Tua, Jalen, Jalen Waddle. Man, who, who are these guys? Who are these guys? Just, just some stars. I ain't talking about, oh, Landon Diggerson on the offensive line. Man, just some, just some guys out there. Just want to throw that out there. But, man, it was a good game. Uh, Jalen – Outplayed uh, two of this game, but for a lot of reasons, uh, I thought this game could have been bigger for Philadelphia, winning wise. But I'm actually kind of I don't like how like they try to play it like uh, Tua's line wasn't a lot of the starting guys wasn't injured, and one of the major parts is why I didn't like it. Because if you don't have your two starting cornerbacks in the game, I don't know who, how many games you think somebody going to win with your two starting cornerbacks out the game with Jalen Ramsey and Xavier Howard. So I think if A.J. Brown and uh, Jalen Ramsey lined up, I felt like it would have been a totally different game or whatnot because – Jalen was already having problems throwing interceptions and stuff and fumbling the ball with the guys that was in there. So I didn't I didn't I didn't like the narrative like how uh they felt like the Dolphins because the Dolphins are not healthy, but Philly literally had everybody playing that night. Literally everybody. But hey, you gotta overcome it. What you guys thought on the game? That's part of the that's part of one of the best abilities, bro. Availability. Man, you said you said, them, you said a mouthful. It's a skill. It, shoot, that's the same skill that went on in the playoffs with uh, the Eagles and the 49ers. That's all they kept screaming. Well, you know, they're not as good if we had, if we had. I mean, so yeah. but um Philly, Philly, they took advantage of the moments. They still had to go out there and play the game. They they contained Tyreek. Um, they contain they contain the run. I, I say it all the time. Miami's a team I don't even mean to interrupt you. My fault. I don't even mean to interrupt you. I didn't want to throw this out just because you said contain. I heard locked down, and I said if eleven catches, eighty eight yards, and a touchdown is locking up somebody, and he dropped the tub. Crazy to me. That means you are just that guy for real. You can't. Okay, listen. 
some it could have been a bigger stat line, line if he didn't drop that walk in tub. tub. Yeah. If he didn't drop that oh. tub, it would have been a problem. So, that, it's a whole different game then. It's a so whole part, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You just nah. said that part that I meant to say, but go ahead. I wanted to get that out there. Nah, that's why I had to say contain. You can't. You sound stupid saying you can stop Tyreek. So, you know, they can they contain Tyreek. They did stop the run. And that's big because, like I said, Miami's a team full of they, – they just track stars. They just athletes. So they, they were able to do that. And um, that Philly shove of brotherly love, whatever they call it, man, it, it, it's just a genius play. <laughs> that shit is – What? They're going to ban it. It's gonna get banned soon. I you can't. Yep. Keep, yeah, they, they're not gonna keep letting them do this. They're gonna ban it. I think it'll be the lamest thing that the NFL has done in a long time. They ban it. If you can't stop, bro. If you can't stop it, that ain't my fault. But like, like uh, that coach was saying, Nick Sirianni, he was like, bro, if you, if everybody can do it, they would do it. But everybody can't do it. We're doing it to profession. Bro, you know how bold it is. I thought it was the most gangster thing I seen in a long time. We on, we're up a touchdown, and I think they on the. It was third and no, was it third? No, no, fourth and three or fourth and two, they and we lining up to, to do that. <laughs> and they crossed it. Bro, I was like, hey man, that's the most gangster thing I seen in a minute. Because they were like, oh, no, you can't stop this. And we're going to get these, y'all. I like, bro, this is this this play is crazy. Dog. It's wild. They're going to ban it. Another year or two of this, that's it. They're going to get rid of this. So I can promise you, if you get them in like a third and five, and they get like a little, little dump ball pad, just get a couple of y'all. If it's fourth and one, hey, bro. Just let it go. Just go ahead. Like, bro, I never played uh, high school football. I'm gonna tell you right now. Like, but but I know football better than most folks, especially to some of the folks that uh played it, which is mind blowing to me, only because I had family to play and they and all that stuff, but yada yada yada. But what gets me every time when they do that, dog, and my fault, Marcus. I, I ain't even uh come to you. But every time they uh line up the dude to shove, why is guys jumping in the air to go get him. <laughs> like, clearly, you're not doing, you're not stopping anything. Desperation, Everyone man. We got, we got to figure something out. <laughs> some got to work. Bro, the only <laughs> way you're going to be able to stop, like, the uh, Philly sh uh, shove or whatever they want to call it, the only way you're stopping that, bro, you're going to have to get as low as them. You're going to have to start playing old school football, start taking out knees. I ain't talking about injuring nobody. I'm talking about, like, you got to get under them as low as them for your first line of defense so your linebackers can go over you to hit Jalen. That's the only way you're going to be able to stop that. You cannot stop that jumping over him. I mean, literally jumping over them because you're not going to touch him. You ain't gonna stop it regardless, man. They offers a line. But I'm saying that's Hall the Fame. best you can do. Jumping over ain't gonna the, do that. They offers a line, a Hall of Fame offers a line with Kelsey and and, and uh Landon. And like and Lane Jay Johnson. Hurts is but a, Landon got a long way to go, but them two guys, yeah, I know what you're saying. But Jalen Hurts is he was a bodybuilder since high school, bro. Like, like because because mm -hmm. the thing, the reason why I don't feel like they're abandoned right now is because like the Cowboys recently tried it. Got stuff, mm -hmm. so it's just like when other teams try, they they are not as successful as Philly. Maybe it's just something that Philly's doing, bro. You just can't stop it, bro. It's just like the man squatting six hundred pounds, squatting six hundred pounds, bro. Yeah, like they said, next, bro, they don't even know offensive linemen that are doing that. Because this think man is a quarterback doing that. Do that. <laughs> That is wild to me, dog. That is wild. Man, that was like, like, since he was been in like ninth grade though in Texas. Ain't yeah. That's why I said, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like the game would have been different with those two corners out there or whatnot. If that's a Super Bowl matchup, I'm telling you now, 
if those two corners are playing, this game is going to be totally different. It ain't going to be um, all that. Because A.J. Brown was, like, handling their third or fourth cornerback. Like, bro, that's a mismatch all day. You can't. What, what you going to do, bro? Jalen Brown. I mean, I said Jalen Brown. A.J. Brown and uh, Jalen Ramsey is about – same height and all that. That's that's a way better matchup that you can live with. But hey, only time will tell. Yo, know I say it's just the beginning of the year, dude. It ain't the end of the world or whatnot. It's a lot more football to go on, man. Mm-hmm. Then uh trying to see what other games went on this weekend. Oh, I, oh, I got one good one. I got a good one to pick with you about B Sharp. What that? Because I'm on your platform. Oh, I know no. you seen that game last night. Remember what, what? Remember what sparked you to get mad and do your own podcast? Because I call this player top ten, and he had on a top ten chain last night after that dub he put up. Who was that? You know who we talking about? Do I gotta say his name? No way. Kirk Cousins. I put him at my top uh, number ten on that my top Kirk. ten quarterbacks. You were outraged. You were. Yeah, I was mad about that. I questioned it, but okay. I really did question it. Kurt, Kurt was actually <laughs> playing this year for a good point, but I had a problem with Gino being in your top 10. What? Gino was in your wow. top 10? Yeah. What you mean? Last year. Oh, from last year? Yeah. I mean, you just he was coming into the year, and he still won top 10 last year. Nah, if you're going based off stats, I can see why someone would put, put him as a top 10, but if you yeah, being really realistic, is. He's not top ten. Yeah, but re- realistically, because he's a journeyman that that's actually catching stride. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Year, he he wasn't no the journeyman. Well, yeah, it don't really matter. He could have been with them for five years. It he's still not gonna be top ten. Yeah, well, yeah, last year he put up the numbers to be top ten going into the season. And and are we not acting like Seattle's not a good team this year? Yeah, Seattle's a good team. Yeah, they're always well coached. coached. Yeah, coaching's half the but if you could over if you could get a great coaching in place. You go and do something good, you know. Let the, you know, the proofs in the pudding. Look at some of the teams who are bad this year who weren't so bad last year because they had a new coach in place. You know, a good coach in place. But now, nah, Gino, you know, Pete Carroll should win. Pete Carroll should win Coach of the Year every year after. Oh, yeah. After you see yeah, what's going he's the quarterback on, whisper, bro. He, he's the quarter. He's the true quarterback whisper. That's why I was like, yeah. bro. Pete Carroll should win uh, Coach of the Year every year because. The fact that folks, and I was one of them, I said I the Broncos it. got a good quarterback in Russell Wilson. And Negative. to see him fold the way he did last year is still one of the funniest things ever. Because I was like, bro, this man Pete Carroll hid this for so long, bro. You ain't talking but, about man. let Russ cook. But, but yeah, Bichon, look at his cook. track record, though. Look at his track record. Look at his yeah. track record. But Look at his quarterback track record. Right? He didn't hit a lot of good quarterbacks. I mean, a lot of sorry quarterbacks like Matt Lionel. Yeah, but that's college, he, though. I'm, no, I'm talking about, you see, when he got to the league, how he how bad he looked. In, in, in USC, you can yeah, tell me that college, Matt Lionel looked I, I, like, I can't really put it on the guy in college because Matt Lionel was that deal in college. I want to say, but you see, Pete Carroll was a quarter. I mean, coach. Like, he, Pete Carroll yeah. is the real quarterback whisperer. If we talking about it. Yeah. Man, well, because you see what Gino got going on. So, yeah. But even how we uh, got off subject real quick, man, that really got oh, off yeah, subject. Yeah. Oh, we'll when you were talking about, about uh, Kirk Cousins. And um, I'm liking uh, Kevin O'Connell's, uh, the Vikings head coach. I'm like, I think who's ever at receiver is going to get a lot of yards. The reason why I believe that is because – they Let's talk about the last team. three years. Kevin O'Connor was the first, like his last year with the Rams, he was their offensive coordinator. Cooper Cup has the triple crown year, and they win the Super Bowl. Justin Jefferson has a big year uh, last year. And he was having a good year this year until he got hurt. But throwing Jordan Addison in the mix, and he just had a big game last night. I'm just feeling like whoever is number one, 
in that system, bro, they're going to eat. So I'm just like, bro, I like his system or <laughs> whatnot, because that made me open my eyes like how he was uh throwing the ball with Kirk Cousins, because he's really helping Kirk in a lot of ways. Uh, Minnesota just doesn't have a defense. Of course, or Kirk. Running game. And they need a little well, running game. Well, they shut that off. That, that, was on, that was by design. They, 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 they said to themselves <laughs> this year, they're like, we're going to throw the ball. That's it. Like you said it, they they set the offense up for that. They they said Dalton, you out. We're gonna keep Madison. He he ain't gonna really they run the ball. You're gonna get like two, eight, eight to ten carries a game. You're gonna just hear red zone running ball. back. Huh? I said hear red zone running back. I agree with that. He yeah, he yeah. Man. So but not I you know what the thing about it, I never thought um Kirk Cousins was a bad quarterback. The question is, and it's always been the question, can you win or get to the Super Bowl with a mid-tier quarterback? Because that's what I think Kurt is. He's a top fringe mid-tier quarterback. So you, you asking that like, question? All right, uh, so I'm about you to say Trent Dilfer can win the Super Bowl. I was going to say, right, say bro, be sure. Stop trying to read my mind. I'm going to say a Trent Dilfer can win. A, I think that answers that your was, question. That was then. This is now. That was then. That's a different right, football uh, game. That's a different type of football. Different type of football. Um, I, I might give you what's his name for the Eagles when he won. Uh, Nick. Uh, what's his name? Nick, Nick Foles. Uh, Nick yeah, Foles. Nick Foles. But that's about it. That's all you really get. That's all you get, bro. Because look, not- look, look, look at the way they pass and look at the offenses now, man. It no the running back. The running back position's gonna go extinct soon. Like the game's different. Not the running same. back position is never going to go extinct. I can promise you that. The running back position is never going extinct because, trust me, you can look at any – but the pass – like, yeah, it's a pass-happy lead, and – but you still need those stars or whatnot to run that ball, man. No, I'm not saying, like, they never use it, but – we're gonna go from like a running back 20 25 carries a game to oh no nah. see it's very rare you're gonna get that yeah not nah, it's very rare you're gonna get those type of guys we're not gonna get like the work we're gonna get like the Eddie Georges yeah. the Steven Jacksons those type of guys anymore or Emmett it's very hard now I agree the only thing that we got to that is Derrick Henry yeah I think he's yeah. like even Jonathan Taylor, once they uh get him back in this group, but I think uh Zach Moss been playing so good, they just splitting up the time right now. Up the time. I watched them this weekend, actually. Well, they need yeah, that. So it's a it's it's a lot that go into it, bro. They be trying to uh undervalue these running backs, but like speaking of uh that game that weekend, when you coming up to Cleveland, bro, so we can go to one of these Browns games and see one of this top this, this top hey, defense in the league, bro, because they looking like a top defense. Hey man, number one defense. Hey, hey man, nobody want to listen to me, man. Nobody want to listen to me. <laughs> hey, hey, but you see, uh, little insight, uh, people, we uh had a Madden league, and every time, uh, me and Mark. Um, it was basically Marcus Madden League. He was the commissioner, and everybody got a team. What team did I always get? Cleveland Browns and Kyler Murray, your quarterback. Well, yeah. I only had Kyler that one year. But uh, uh, defense going to have him. I had that Miles Garrett sitting on that side. But the two guys I'm going to have, I got Denzel on one side. I got Jaya on the other. But dude, yeah, really like what? Jair Alexander last year, I was like, bro, Jair Alexander been that. Yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Man, like that man, what parts of the team this shit on? Most that's the thing. Like, and I mean, like, talk radio was roasting him the whole week. He said, "Boy, Justin, that they had me in that zone or whatnot. Let me play man to man on this man, and I'm gonna lock him down." Basically, talking that mess, and get what? Boy, Justin Jefferson getting sold up, boy. The boy hit the gritty on him as he broke up the ball. I like, boy, the man' confidence is through the roof, boy. And then after the game, got on big, big ass uh, Green Bay Packers hat. You know them little big ass hat. 
that they got yeah. now. And then, and I think he uh, put on his uh, cap of Scully right after that. I'm like, hey, man. I like, I'm glad Jair had that moment because it was just like, bro, he is that dude. Jair, shout out to you, man. I'm giving you all the love, dog. This one guy, Marcus can vouch for me. I've been saying you that dude for the longest, and I'm glad you showing that you one of the top corners in the NFL. Hey, B. Shaw, what about your other boy, Pat Sertan, bro? I ain't hey, he the best, about him the best. The best in the game. That's why he got a cover photo on here. Shout out to Pat Sertan, the best. You know where he went to school at. You know where he went to school at. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Lockdown. Ain't no. <laughs> you get lined up with ain't no. <laughs> Man, my dog is a dog. But hey, he may get traded. I don't know where that's coming from. Man, he need to go Man, somewhere. Like that's never like, oh, drowning. I, I, I don't know, bro. It's so hard. If, when you see certain things, like on a rumor mill, they be talking about uh, where these uh, guys going. They say uh, Philly can possibly trade for him. I said, what? bro, if I'm this man go to Philadelphia, get these boys a Super Bowl. Just but then they Super- just, didn't they just get burned from Tennessee? Yeah, they were before all this. They they all they, if they get that man, bro, it's something going on in Philly, bro. Oh, you talking about Kevin Byard? Yeah, they just yeah, got Kevin him. Byer, Kevin my Byer. bad. From Tennessee? Then, yeah. Like, there's something going on if they get that oh, man right there. If they somehow get Pat Sertan, I'm telling you, give these boys the Super Bowl right now because it's it's easily who's your number one now. Now Darius Slay playing like two and Brad Bear playing three. I want to see Pat Sertan and Pittsburgh. It ain't even fair no more. Nah. It's not even fair no more. Then you got Byron back there? Bro, it's not even fair. Like, what can you do, bro? And then you got I that. I want him in y'all. Huh? I, I, I want our boy Minka to get some help out there. I need him in Pittsburgh, bro. Man, I wish he – I would just wish they can have – Shut up. If everybody didn't know, Minka's my cousin. Blood, <laughs> shout out to the fam. I should wear some Steeler stuff, but I, I don't want to do it. They like my second team, bro. I, I'm not, a, I'm not one of them dudes. Like I got two teams. I only, but I always like the Steelers too. But uh, I love him more because uh, he's on there. So shout out to Minka on there. But man, the crazy thing is, dog. Uh, how Philly can – I don't even want to imagine that team. Like, bro, it will be unfair. It's like getting them on mad. Like, bro, what can I do? That, bro. Like, what can I do? It's like you just build that team. Then you got got Sweat. You got Riddick. Yeah, you got man. David. You got Jalen Carter. You got Nicole Fletcher Cox. Dean. Like, bro, how am I going to – Fletcher Cox – Bro, how am I going to run the ball? How do I have time? <clears throat> that joint got to look crazy. crazy on the <laughs> Being man, on, bro, the, you know, on the other side, just looking at them. Oh, man. Bro. Well, B-Shaw, since you brought them up, I wasn't going to bring them up. Since you brought your team up, <laughs> what are y'all going to do about a head coach? Yeah, you got to get Matt Canada. I yeah, I, I, it's going to be more than likely – this is Ron Rivera's last year, more than likely. Oh, it, it ain't ain't more than likely. I don't think he I'm might. I'm telling you right season. now, if we don't do this, the man, I've been saying it already, the man's going to be a head coach. Every enemy is going to be a head coach after this year. If we do not make this man our head coach, I probably disown the team. Because there's been too many guys that walked out that organization that are being successful right now. Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay. Uh, uh, Matt Daniels down in Miami, and now we got Airbnb enemy. These are all offensive minded guys that once coached for us, doing great things everywhere else. And we got Ron Rivera. Ron Rivera time has passed, been gone. He, he just like one of them coaches that was just like he was hot for the moment, and that was it. 
He's not going to be like one of these guys. They're going to be out here for a long time coaching, doing the damn thing. We need uh, Airbnb as our head coach. And we need to get a quarterback. Uh, now you gonna you heard what he said? Now he said that if, that, if they don't make him a coach, they're gonna disown. He gonna disown the team. I want you to make him stand on that. Hold on, did you call him airline? It's our line, man. Our line. I, I apologize, sir. <laughs> you heard what he said? No, I'm calling him airline for now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you heard nah, what he said? He said, he said. If yeah, Bellamy don't become the head coach, Bellamy don't become the head coach. He leaving. He he leaving the command. I don't know who these names you calling, bro. Why are you messing up my guy? It's Airbnb. You gonna put some respect on my coach name? Yeah. Andy so Reid. This is your statement. Hold on, well, hold on. What you say? Andy Reid. What you say? This hold on, my fault. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want you. I, I'm gonna come I, I right slur that name. What you say about Andy Reid? I said Airbnb? I won't slur that name. What about Air? I mean, uh, Andy Reid. Don't, do don't do that. No, man, we don't just talk. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now. You one of those guys that think no, uh, Airbnb no. ain't calling them plays? Guess what? Pat Mahomes don't have no Super Bowl rings without Airbnb. These are facts. Andy Reid doesn't have any Super Bowl rings without Airbnb being the offensive coordinator. These are facts. He got one Super Bowl appearance and four. And what four. is an appearance compared to a ring? Hey, I think hey, I think they 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 get a ring without the enemy, but I don't think that. Thank you. Good. I don't think that's good just because they got my home. Show me. It hadn't been done, so show me. Hey, <laughs> show hey, me. This Tom Brady, Bill Belichick thing has to start showing y'all that when y'all get these generational, amazing quarterbacks. That Tom them Brady. playing sometimes outweighs the coaching. Yeah, man. It's no, 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 no. But that Tom has Brady nothing to do. Listen here. We would not yeah. disrespect. I would go down that lineup of Patriots. Tom Brady wasn't Tom Brady when he won his first three. First three. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay. That was that Billy Dennis, Ty sure, Law, sure. Eddie sure, Bruce, like, yeah, Richard like, Stevens. I, I agree. Yeah, sure. I agree. I agree. Like, uh, keep going down the line. Sure, we can, we can, okay, we can we can say that, but oh, okay. Man, how many times you get a ring five? Like, what are you saying, bro? I said the first three rings. Oh, but okay, but let's pass that. What about the rest? You, you can't tell the whole story. Okay, but guess like, what? Guess who built that team? Me. Guess who built that team? Who built the team? Okay, so hey, but, just hey, 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 let him do it again. Let him do it again. I that's what I want to see. Let him do it again. Hey, hey, guess who Tom Brady? Guess who so, Tom Brady? He's, so good, he's about to retire. Tom Brady yeah. did it again. Just let me see Bill do yeah. it again. With no, no training no, camp or no preseason. No, no, no. And, and this is a whole nother thing. I love Tom. Tom is the goat. Yes, Tom did it. But guess what? Tom went to. He went to a team that was already loaded. They just needed a quarterback. But, Bill Belichick but, doesn't but, have weapons on that team. You know, but, you know, he, Bill hard, Bill, but Bill. He, he, he came in that he came in that situation with no training camp and no preseason. That's hard to do. And yes, but and, you still have the season, record, you still learn record. on the go. You have like so 16 Bill, games. So Bill hasn't had an opportunity to draft to get better uh players in when D Hop was begging to go to teams. Bill didn't want to just call D Hop. Hey man, yeah, we need a receiver. What what was that at? But That's you still got a bit, bro. You still got a bit. It's too many guys that retired on him. It's yes, you still have to build. Bill, but guess what, bro? No, Bill's still a can't lot have of guys. A receiver he ain't had a receiver since Gronk or Randy Moss. Like if you want to call a spade a spade, he ain't had a receiver since then. So he ain't. So there's something to be said. He might have never really been a super great offensive mind to the point where he's drafting these amazing offensive players. He's behind the time. Exactly, Tom Brady. What are you talking about? This Tom he Brady. Drafted Gronkowski. He drafted Okay. Let's he leave. He drafted here. Julian Edelman. Do I need to go down the list, bro? Y'all get them. I disagree with you. I'm saying y'all. Is Julian Edelman your, your, your fighting piece here? Come on. Bro, now, did you, I'll give you, you Gronk. I'll give you Gronk back. I'll give you Brady back. But you about the Julian Edelman? You think Julian Edelman not that guy? You go look back yeah. at that Patriots and Rams Super Bowl and you tell me who was balling in there. It wasn't Tom Brady. It wasn't Gronk. 
It was Julian <laughs> Edmonds, sir. You better check yeah. out Julian yeah. Edmonds hey, in the postseason. Hey. That that's true. These are guys also, that Bill Belichick. Also, I think, also, also, I do believe quarterbacks help make these receivers. So if you're going to tell that. me Julian Edelman can repeat these numbers somewhere else without Tom Brady, bro, I'm, I'm, yeah, Tom I'm, Brady made. Listen, listen here, listen here. With Tom Brady, Julian Edelman, if you want to say name, okay, if you want to do that, what quarterback made a wide receiver? A Patrick Mahomes making all them fools in Kansas City right now, who ain't named yeah. Travis Kelsey. Name, name who? Who? So you think he made Travis Kelsey? Tyreek Hill? Except Travis Kelsey. I said, I said, except Travis Kelsey. Tyreek Hill's in Miami. No, when he was there, you he made Tyreek Hill? No, no. But you know this year. Okay, then. Games, what are you they talking about? One game. They've lost one game this year. They've lost one that's game this, this year. year. They don't have a problem with a post. But that's what I'm talking Hey, look. If you remove Ty. Remove I said what game. receiver? I'm asking you what quarterback made a receiver. Not I'm talking about a particular receiver. It can be old or new. It can be somebody now or old. Pat Mahomes, his whole receiving core. They're ma- they're getting they're 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 making catches, getting points based off his skill. His skill. No. Let me, even last let me add, year. Let me make year. it very more clear uh-huh. for you. Are these guys going to the Pro Bowl? No. No. Okay, then. So how is he making these guys? I Will said they name the quarterback that Will made them. Could, could they go to the Super Bowl? Could you need a quarterback. The you need a quarterback. But there's teams that got a quarterback with no receivers. What are you saying? Okay, Bisha, name a guy. Argue, name argue, who going to the Super Bowl argue, without a receiver? Bisha. I would argue before Devontae Adams went to the Raiders, people were saying that, you know, uh, Aaron Rodgers made Devontae Adams. And guess what? What did he do the very next year? Had the best year of his career. I, I said, Just throwing that out there. These, yeah, these, are, these are not my opinion. These are facts. But, you can look this up. But I would say Tom Brady made uh, Amendola. I definitely would say that. Uh, is Amendola going to the Pro Bowl? I said, oh, name come guys on, man. that are star. All, to go to a Pro Bowl, all you need are good numbers. What we what do we say? But well, who's what I said? That's why I said you, you can do now, game? you can do now or old. <laughs> name one quarterback that made a receiver. I just said, name one. I, did. I gave you one. You just don't he didn't go to no Pro Bowl. They're not going, they're not going to a Pro Bowl, they'll go to Super Bowl like they did last year. With Bro, no anybody can go to a Super Bowl. Anybody. Crazy. They can't. Uh, anybody can go to a pro <laughs> No, I, anybody I, I, cannot I, 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 go to a pro bowl. Anybody right cannot right go right to right a right pro bowl. Right now that you don't know, and he has he has the second most. You're more likely to go to a right pro bowl than a pro bowl. Listen, listen, bro. Listen, 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 be sharp. I got one name for you right now, and he has the second most pro bowl appearances on the Patriots. And I bet you can't name I don't know. You talking about you talking about Matthew Slater? Yes. Man, I know my football. Hey, good job, okay. though, Bisha. Okay. That, when I found okay. that fact that that shocked me. Okay. Bro, that's a good no, no, so wait, I misspoke. No. You're 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 more likely, like, bro, listen here. Yeah. Listen to your stat. You're saying you're more likely to go to a Super Bowl than a Pro Bowl. No, I'm saying you tripping. That, that's why I said I misspoke on that. I misspoke on tripping, that. Bro. Okay, okay. But bro, listen here. You, it's not guys going to the Pro Bowl every year. Every guy that you're naming a didn't go to a Pro Bowl. Bowl. You're only making my point stronger. None of those guys are going to a Pro Bowl exactly. But the quarterback is so good, he's going to get these terrible wide receivers to the Super Bowl. How are these guys terrible? They they, they can't. They can barely get open. They can barely catch. What do you do? You watch. You, I you watch the. Wait, Pac- wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Do you hear yourself? You said these guys can barely uh get open and they can barely catch. Yes. How are they catching the ball for Pat Mahomes? Pat Mahomes got to – these guys got to catch it for Pat Mahomes to get stats. You do know that, right? Yeah, but you also see the – it's like the Ravens, bro. It's like the Ravens. Stop what it. were you talking about? Stop it. If you believe that – Pat, if you believe Lamar Jackson has – if you believe – bro, you take Travis Kelsey – <clears throat> no, I take Travis, Travis Kelsey off the only person. That's no, 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 no. You he take had, Travis he, Kelsey off the cheat. Let's find out how good Pat Mahomes is. We we literally saw it. When? When? The first was it? The first two three games? Yeah, the first game. Yeah. And what happened? And what happened? Yeah. 
they they lost. But the point is, they they barely lost. Like, bro, we saw the only game that they lost all year. They didn't have Travis Kelsey. That he struggled in. But did you see the game? You saw the game, right? Yes, and he struggled. <laughs> okay, that's not that's not my argument. Of course, you can struggle without good receivers. The point is, though, just because he didn't have the star-studded cast, did not mean like, did not mean he didn't help make these guys. Like now they're catching the ball. Now they're catching the ball. This is bro. It was only one game, game, and that was one guy. That was Kendarius Tony that dropped ball. Yeah, he. All right. Well, he I got a name for you, Sean. I got a name for you that that that. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to move to the next subject. This ain't. Right, right, I'm gonna drop this name real quick. But uh, Wes Walker did not make a Pro Bowl until he got with Tom Brady. But Wes Walker was already a good quarterback. I mean, why? No, you said, hey, got hey now, now you moving the goalposts. You said, <laughs> yes. you a receiver that but made the Pro Bowl. Make him. He was a good. He was a decent. He was a decent receiver. How Tom Brady you made a Pro Bowl before you even get you to know, a he, team. He had all his best numbers with Tom Brady. What well, duh, he spent the most time okay. there. Of course you're gonna do that. The man literally had a hundred catches before he got there. What decent receiver you know catching a hundred catches? Name one. Hey, you said Pro Bowl receiver. What you now you I know that you said Pro Bowl. He didn't make the Pro Bowl. If he was so good, okay, why listen, did he listen, make listen, the Pro listen, Bowl? Listen, he had 100 catches. Why did he make the Pro Bowl? He didn't make a Pro Bowl. It's on the voters. Don't hold the goal post now because you no, 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 no. Hold on. You gotta answer this system. real quickly. You gotta answer this real quickly. How many hundred? How many guys you know catch a hundred uh reception and don't make a Pro Bowl? You said he. You said he did a. No, no, no. I'm he asking the Pro Bowl. How many guys you know they're gonna catch a hundred catches and they don't make a Pro Bowl? You tell exactly. me. You tell me. It doesn't happen. That's the point. People vote for you. But then you say he had a hundred catches before he got the Tom Brady. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's very, very rare. Look how rare, look how rare that is. The man catching a that look how rare that is. The man caught a hundred catches. If I'm not he mistaken, make a pro bowl. he didn't make it to a Pro Bowl. Look how crazy that you is. You tell me. You tell. I think. I think we making our point. How are you making my bro? He was already a good receiver before he got there. He was a better receiver with Tom. He was, well, was a, he a better okay receiver. receiver. With Tom. Tom, well, you always going to be better with a better quarterback, bro. That's how it always is. So it's possible, to be better with a, it's possible for a quarterback. It's possible for a quarterback. Did you already make Randy Moss? Oh, no. 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 Marvin, Randy Moss is already. I can, I, can, I, can, I can go down the list of guys now. You, you really want to play this game. If you really want to play this game. Oh, so, God. Randy what? Moss' best years are with Tom, with Tom Brady. But did Tom Brady make him? Yes That's or no? Not. He was a pro bowler before he got to Tom Brady. He was a pro before he got to Tom Brady. Let's not do that's that. Let's argument. not make. All okay. right, let's move to the next segment. Tommy, I'm not you, doing you this. Using the, you using like one of the top three wide receivers of all, all time. time. That's what you doing. I can go down the list of guys if you want me bro, to. You use the top wide receiver. Of I all can time. go down the list top, if you want me the to. The top tight ends of all time. Yeah, you knew y'all realize y'all never named one receiver that. I'm still we waiting. Did. You you just keep you you keep no, breaking no, it down. No, West Walker was a good wide receiver before he got, there, bro. he got there. Not too many people knew who he was. That doesn't make you. You have to see who he made. Tom Brady made West Walker a household name. What are you not understanding? How are you making him a household name? Only right, thing if you did is put him on his in New England. Would you know who West? Would the new generation know who West Walker is? Would West Walker have his number? No, I put it like this. Do you know Jimmy Smith? Pro Bowler? No. Do you, you know Jimmy us, Smith? You asked us and you said Pro Bowl as your as your. Do you know Jimmy, Jimmy Smith? Did not say Pro Bowl. I, yes, I, I did. Asked, do you did know Jimmy Smith? Bowl. And I gave you one, so don't move the goalpost now that I bro, got on you. Look how long it took y'all to name it, bro. We've been on this hey, subject hey, for hey, fifteen hey, minutes. Right. I had to do my I had to do my research. You had to do my research. Do you know Jimmy Smith? <laughs> Exactly. Shout out to Jimmy Smith, one of the most underrated wide receivers to ever play this game. Jacksonville Jaguars. If you guys don't know him, who he is, look him up. Jackson look State's up, finest. Man. HBCU need to be in the Hall of Famer. Shout out to Jimmy Smith. What's wrong with y'all boys? Man, y'all boys taking forever. And let's get to my favorite card, man. Y'all boys on this bull, y'all. 
I ain't dealing with it. Oh. I ain't dealing with it. <laughs> all over here with this bull jive. <laughs> Boy, I, woo! Hey, be shot. That's what you brought me out here for. You knew we were going to get a crump, baby. Man. Y'all already hey, you know. You said this is a short show. We in, we in here for an hour and 30 minutes. No, we, about, we, we said an hour and 30. I said about an hour and 30. <sighs> but hold on. We going to get these predictions out of the way. Right. Right. Of course, the first team I name is the away team. The last team is the home team. This is quick picks, Marcus. So I don't need you asking me if somebody playing or not. Or what not? You just tell me. I already did my research. I already did my research. There you go, my nigga. <laughs> All right. Bucks, Bills. You ain't got to ask me. You already. <laughs> no, you got to answer for the people. I know. Oh, Bills. We, we, we here. Bills Mafia. We in the building. Bucks. Oh, you hurt me, dog. I'm going to go I, with I, Bills. You hurt me. Yeah. Patriots. Well, I'm, in, I'm in Tampa. I'm in Tampa. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going. Dolphins got a Dolphins got a rebound, man. I'm gonna go Dolphins. Who you said? Dolphins. Who? Patriots. Oh, Dolphins. Dolphins. That's a division game too. Jets. Giants. Ooh, ooh. I'm. I'm gonna go Jets. I'm gonna go Jets. Jets. I'm going with the J E T E Jets. If you didn't catch that, Marcus, look it up on YouTube. I tell the people every week. Jazz Steelers. Uh, I'm going with. I'm going with. Uh, that's a good one, man. Dang, that's a good one. I'm gonna go with Pittsburgh, man. I'm gonna go with Pittsburgh. I know Trevor Lawrence might make me regret it, but I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. Mm. Jags. Okay. Oh, my fault. Falcons. Oh, my fault. Uh, I said, what's your pick, B-Shaw? Oh, yeah. I got I'm going I'm to go I with. I'm going to go with the Steelers. Falcons, Titans. Okay. Titans. Falcons, Titans. ATL. I got the Titans. Ooh. I'm going to go with the Titans. Man, man, I don't know why this thing keep messing up like that. Uh, Okay, there we go. Texans, Panthers. Mm -hmm. I'm going Texans. Texans. Man, Bryson them about to get their first win, man. I, I'm gonna go. Hey, be sharp. My co-host said he'll top 10 quarterback. You agree? Say that again. So my co-host said he'll top 10 quarterback right now. You agree? If he is, he at 10. Yeah. Bryce Young? He, he literally borderline. I'm like, he got a hot star, but I, I would just like all that come to an end, man. I love CJ Stroud. A lot of folks. Will, no, I said uh, I said Bryce Young. My my co-host said Bryce Young is a top ten quarterback, not CJ. No, he's not there. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. That's the real Alabama fan right there, keeping it real. Oh, Titan Panthers. Oh, oh, we already went through that. Sorry, man. You threw me off with that. Rams, <laughs> Cowboys. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm going Rams, man. Cowboys. I'm gonna go with the cowgirls. Vikings, Panthers. I mean, Vikings, Packers. Uh, Vikings. Mm. Vikings. I'm gonna go with the Vikings too. Saints, Colts. Hmm. Well, that's some good games. A lot of good games, games this weekend. Uh, got a minute. been kind of cool lately. I ain't going to jump the right now. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, the coach, man. I'm I'm, I'm going to think the coach is going to pull this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Colts. I don't know what uh, what money's on that quarterback. What, Derek Carr? 
Yeah. I'm going with the Saints. Nah. Eagles, Commanders. Eagles. Eagles. Hate to say it, Eagles. Browns, Seahawks. Strangely, I'm gonna go Browns. Boy, that ain't strange. It would be strange. You said Seahawks, Browns. Well, you gotta realize that the Sean might not be playing this week. So, you know, if the Sean, what no, we do straight up Browns, Ravens, Cardinals, Ravens, easy. Ravens. Ravens. Chiefs, Broncos. Chiefs. Chiefs. Man, I'm going with the upset. Chiefs. <laughs> Bengals, 49ers. Bengals. 49ers. They don't lose three in a row. You don't think so? Nah. The boy French off of by Bengals. We got the Bears with, for Sunday night football. The Bears and the Chargers. Chargers. I know, I know this is gonna be a good game though. What you got for me? Bears. I got the charge. <clears throat> I got the Bears. I know. I got the charge. For Monday Night Football, Raiders. The Oakland Raiders. And the Lions. After that rough loss they had this past week, I'm, think, I'm thinking Detroit going to get their stuff back right. I think Detroit is a, is, is a good team this year. I'm going to Detroit. Detroit. I'm going with Detroit. We just got a couple more topics for you good people out there. You know I'm wearing this hat tonight because it's opening night for the <laughs> NBA, ladies and gentlemen. Let the season begin. I'm a Kobe guy. This always been my team. Just want to point that out there. Just want to point that out there. L.A. Lakers. Let them know, B-Sharp. But, hey, man, it's going to be a great season, I hope. Full of uh, tops and turns. But we'll talk about the season on a later date or whatnot. Just see what everybody got planned for the season. But... I'm just gonna ask y'all who gonna uh win tonight. Uh just a little quick little wrap up. Got Lakers and Denver. Who y'all got? I'm going late show, baby. I'm a Laker fan all day. I like the Lakers, but uh I don't think they got an answer for Denver. Not yet, not the first game. So I got I'm going Denver. I got uh the Nuggets tonight, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know how you're gonna contain uh uh Jamal Murray and Joker. Joker is a different uh story when Jamal Murray's in there. Because Jamal Murray is very, very underrated stars in this league. A healthy Jamal Murray, this team really, really goes. Like, Joker is one of the top players, but, hey, Jamal Murray is definitely that guy. And then to end the night off, we got Suns Warriors. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a great one, but I'm yeah. going to take the Suns. But Bradley Bill not playing. Not tonight. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that pick back. I'll take the Warriors. Even if they have Bradley Bill. I don't think they uh I don't think they're ready in the half court. I think uh <clears throat> I think they need someone to really like uh they need a true point guard in there. 
to really distribute the ball and get them set up in the half court set. So I'm going to go to state, whether Bradley was there or not. Yeah, I feel like they kept uh, Chris Paul. That was, that was like the perfect guy mm-hmm. to like really distribute the ball and all that. But I feel like they're they going to still do the thing this year. Oh, they kind of want Devin Booker to take on that type of role, but like, I don't see I it. Think, I think the Suns can pull it off tonight. You going Suns? I'm going Suns. Mm. Uh, There's no answer for KD, man. It's, it's, and his show ain't no uh, answer for uh, Devin Booker. But KD, KD doesn't stay aggressive. KD always going to give you about That's 25, 23. And four quarters. He really need, yeah, he really just need to go off for 40, but he going to give you just 25. Bro, Kevin Durant is one of the most toughest guys on the offense. He, he's going to do the thing this year, man. I hope so. Possibly has MVP he, season. Has he, has he ever led the lead, lead in scoring? Yes. How many times? Four straight years. Four straight years? Yes. Huh. Because it's rare to see him go off for, like, large quantity of points. You know where you – I don't know what NBA you've been watching. In his early years, he did. He used to do that. Yeah, but we talk. We talking, like – we talking post-Achilles Durant. Like that's no, I that's agree what I'm with talking, you. Talking post, like post, these days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said I agree with you 100. What we did one? I don't know why they. I don't know why the uh, prediction thing was still at the bottom. I didn't even see that on the ticket. My fault. But yeah, NBA opening night. Welcome back, NBA. And all your good things, Paul. Uh. <laughs> Pray that everybody stay healthy all year, be a good season. But it's still football season. Man, preach be sure. the Super Bowl is over, it's football season. I don't care nothing about – only time I care about the NBA is opening night, uh, Christmas Day, and then after that, <laughs> after the Super Bowl. <laughs> that That's really it, to be honest, dog. I agree. But, to end the night because I know my other guy Marcus got to go pod on his show. He got a double pod like I had to do last week. Shout out to the Water Cooler Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys go check them out. Make sure I put the link in the description so it just be an easy click to get to their channel. Support them, brothers. Sure. Appreciate, sure. appreciate the love, bro. Appreciate the love. Oh yeah. But this topic right here, oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I, I couldn't even figure out a, a title to put on the ticker. And you know what? This is, this, is, this is the best title I can think of. And it's just three simple words. Oh, man. <laughs> i like, bro, come on, bro. That's all the thing I can think of for this. Like, man, come on, bro. Like, man, like, let's be for real. Hold on. I'm doing too much. Like, bro, this woman right here, if y'all haven't heard, it was like, uh, it said, this list makes it seems like we don't uh, want to date at all or whatever. But it was like, uh, here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on first date. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to me to help me on my list. This is the craziest list. That's why I got big on there. Because you have law. Any woman. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Allergies messing with me. But anybody that got this list, this is crazy. Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's. Mm-hmm. Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your house. I can understand your house, but uh, any fast food chain, I can kind of, I can understand that one. Buffalo Wild Wings, Williams Stout, Red Lobster. Now, Red Lobster back in the day, like probably when we was kids, like, bro, you thought you were fancy when you went to Red Lobster. Red Lobster probably like the McDonald's of seafood now. If not lower than that. 
uh, buffet, which is the dumbest thing I hate. I like, boy, a buffet? Boy, hit up the Golden Corral, boy. <laughs> Man, I didn't want to point that out. I hop, Dennis. Man, you tell they ain't never ate no good breakfast. The gym mm -hmm. was a weird one to me. The church. Yeah, like, shoot. I, I did a church one before. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks, coffee dates, ice cream dates. Like, you don't like ice cream? You don't like ice cream? But they, 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 they like ice cream. anything they feel is affordable. Uh, right. but, hey, bro, you probably hit the nail on the head. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to come to you with ooh, why you saying something right there. Family function. Like, listen here. Hey, bro, I rarely went on dates anyway. I, 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 this is one of the reasons I didn't even care. I didn't want to spend no money. Future said it best. Chicken, wings, and fries, we don't go on dates. <laughs> but I live by that line, but. And I ain't buying you no chicken wings and fries. But guess what? I'm a married man. Shout out to my wife. I took her to a nice Italian restaurant. And you know how I got her? Walked in that thing. Had reservations. On the first date? On the first date. Oh, I man. Look in her eyes. Good job. She, Good job. she didn't get none of these places on Italy right here. <laughs> No, nah, she ain't getting none of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, I ain't like Olive Garden at the time, so I took it to a, a different type of uh, Italian restaurant, which uh, some people uh, from college uh, put me on, which was good, which she loved. Then we went to the movies, which is on here. Oh, it's on, the, it's on this list right here, boy. You tripping? You started, hey. you started off good. Yeah, you hey, started I don't care. Good. We went to the movies, and I still don't know to this day what movie it was. I gotta yeah. look at the date. That's a good date. I can hear from the other room. She said Gardens of the Galaxy. <laughs> and I still don't believe that was a movie. <laughs> I gotta look it up at that time. Uh, they said movie night with Netflix and Hulu. Now you already know that Netflix and she. <laughs> I didn't want to throw that out there. Somewhere that requires a long drive, which I don't, I don't know. Whatever that means. I guess you just want to go on a drive for the day. I don't know. Bowling. Like, you don't like to bowl? Oh, hey, do you want to do anything fun? What? Nightclubs. Well, I can understand. Night, who, who really takes a girl on a date to a nightclub? <laughs> now, that's I ain't been in nightclubs in high school, bro. <laughs> I would, bro. I wouldn't even take a girl on a date. For no nightclub though, bro. That's kind of wild right there. I really want to know who took it, a girl. It, to the it, club. Depends. It, it depends on the type of club that I've taken one out to a club before. Like you it just a to a club. I yeah, bro. Club so the club the club I the club I went to was in Charlotte. And mm -hmm. it's sectioned off. I mean, there's outdoor area. You kind of by yourself. You got private area. It's private, man. It's not it's not like the soul. You know what I mean? It's not like a lounge. Lounge club, it's all the same thing. No, it's they got, lounge, it's area. They got a lounge area in the club. It, it's definitely different. I'm going to club parts. It's definitely different, dog. I don't care what you're talking about. It's different from uh, a lounge uh, or a bar or something like that. You take the girl to imagine we was at Skiggy and it'd be like, Hey, girl, for our third day, I'm gonna take you to the soul. But I mean, mm -hmm. living it, living it. <laughs> Yeah, that's like taking sand to the beach for real. Like, what are you doing? Now, that, that, that's, you that's, talk that, about in there. That's crazy. That's crazy. But that's, like that's disrespectful, actually, to yourself. He <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm gonna take you to the club. And we over here, everybody getting twerked on. You don't even know this girl. How can you even you have that a that to yourself? You ruining your own night doing that <laughs> right there. You ain't trying to do <laughs> none that. Saying, that. I, the, list, the list is outrageous, but it's a couple of them on here I can understand. Nightclubs are is a really wild one, dog. Hookah ball, I think it's cool. My wife didn't think it was cool, but I was like, man, shit, ain't hit a little hookah. Here's, here's, here's another one. I found a hookah bar that lets you pick the music in there. Nice. So I went what on a slow called, night. Like whatever session you in? Not not so. Um, it's a it's a small hookah bar, 
and they let you pick the music. You just have to download the app and you can like put a song on the playlist. And if people are in there, if they want to hear your song, they'll just like vote it up the list. Well, I picked the slow night and made a playlist before the girl got there. And then boom, I had I had a I had my own like I had my own DJ session in the hookah bar. So I thought that was pretty cool. What you had playing? Name three songs that you had playing. That let me know what you <laughs> how you said the mood. I, so I had some I had some Wale going for sure. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Which Wale I, song though? Okay. Hey, be sure chill out. <laughs> what Wale song? I can't I can't remember which uh which ones, but I'm sure I probably had Lotus Flower Bomb at the time. Hey, if you had that, yeah. We're living in a fantasy. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that Miguel. Yeah. Oh, what that joke was that? What else? I had Miguel on the joint. Um, she liked Miguel, so I had Miguel on there. Um, so from the first album. And shoot, I had Usher on there too. So, hey, hey, I ain't mad at that. Ain't a bad trying, lineup. You trying to clap Smooth, and, clap. and they had games and they had games in there, like board games and stuff like that. It's cool. I know this. I know this way. This way before. This way before your girls. But did you clap? This actually was my girl. Hey, the fifth. Hey, hey, so, and that's all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I be your groovy baby. <laughs> a bar, a bar for just drinks. I don't even know what that means. What a that's bar. that. That's a bar. Like, checking out to the bar, to just, bar just to get a drink. Why would you go to the bar? Why wouldn't you go to the bar to talk and drink? I don't. I don't get it. I don't yeah, get that I either. Like and and shout out and back to the Applebee's. Applebee's does one dollar margaritas. Why wouldn't y'all just hit that joint before you start there and see where your night goes? No, no. I'm, I'm gonna get these last two in, and then we gonna definitely get it. In, uh, talk about these last two subjects. I'm gonna go off on the last one. one. I'm just let you know that. Nah, I'm gonna Walker just let you know. is wild now. I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. You a wild person. Waffle House is like, bro. I'm just like after the club. Y'all just gonna say, right, that's, that's, hold on, hold on, hold on. How long were you out on this date? Is this the this where y'all ended up last? I'm just no, talking about when you usually start on a date, bro. You usually go in there first. No. Well, hey, no. on that said, most of all these things you would do first outside of like a movie date. Maybe you nah, do the ice cream thing last after dinner. Yeah, if you if you chose to if you chose to go to dinner. Then you got Denny's on here and then like breakfast. And I like I don't go to Denny's unless it's like early in the morning. It ain't like Waffle High. Just open up. Hey, fat be sharp. <laughs> hey, ain't that crazy that you'll go to Denny's in the morning and go to Waffle House at night? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, boy, you ain't never had that waffle, boy. It but that waffle, that waffle at twelve in the morning hit different, boy. Way different. <laughs> and then it said a sporting event. I don't All know right, what sporting event you. I'm going off because if I take you oh, to an oh, NFL oh. game and you have a problem, you will be left there. For one, I ain't taking no girl on no. I'm just saying, if I was single, I ain't taking no girl on no first date to no uh, football game. For one, I'm gonna enjoy the game. That's Why right. am I taking you to a game? I don't care what game it is. I'm not. I'm going to the game with my boys or somebody like that, and I can just talk mess at the game. I ain't about to sit here and be like, "Oh man, you you good? You want some popcorn? You want some popcorn? You want some drink? You good? I'm you want a slushy? You want a slushy? Yeah, you want some slush? You're good. What if you, what if, but but what if like I've had courtside seats before, like that's that's that I. No, what she said, she ain't satisfied with that, bro. No, 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 no. See that? How would you feel if she said she ain't ain't satisfied with that? I ain't taking no. You gonna take a girl on the first date? Don't this. uh, I put it like this. If you, what if you take it? If you serious about the girl, and you give her uh, floor seats to a game. She better be great. Like it, it, it just all depends what's in your budget. Like I, um, like my brother, right? He gets free tickets to the football game, free tickets to the horse races, free tickets to the basketball game. They got a box. Whether it's the first date or the tenth date, it, it's free. It's free. It, it just look, it looks away, but it's free. So like, 
you know, if I went to a, a sport, the time I had courtside seats, I, I had tickets. They're free. You want to go? What if she would have told you that she me, wasn't happy with that 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 gift or that date? I would say. Great that's question. A gift. That what, date. after the fact or before the fact? Before. Before. Just want to go. I I probably go to yeah, yeah. courtside seats or you just leave her. Hold on, yes. hold on. I want to be clear. If, if, look, so if I say, I hey, know. look, I have tickets to this game. I'd like for you to go with me. She says, oh, well, I don't want to go to the game. Cool. I'll call you back. Oh, okay. Hey, my hey, boy. hey. <laughs> yeah. My boy. Why yeah. are you taking a girl? I don't see. If, see, see, that was my problem with you when you said that. If you ask a girl to go on a date with you to a game and get floor side seat, and she says she don't want to go, you say you're going to call up somebody else? Yeah. yeah. I mean, go somebody that? See, that was my problem. Why are you making that a serious date? That sounds like some serious date. Why you, why you think it's so serious? Man, floor side seats? Core side seats? Why you think it's so serious? That just why you think? I'm just trying to see why you think it's so serious. Like, at what point, mo- money wise, is it is it too serious? Now, remember, it's free. I don't care if I got a million dollars. Ain't no girl like Dre say. What you gonna I do? I have the tour side. But what you gonna do? Okay, right. What you to, doing? To ask you a question. All right, so you're asking what limit money wise for a first date means you're serious. I would say if I spend more than. I'm cheap, so it's hard. Yeah, me it. too. I'm gonna say if I spend more than 150 to 200 dollars, I'm serious. Because yeah. me myself personally, like I'm, I'm cheap. I find a real cheap date real quick. A movie at Applebee's night is is, is if I don't take you serious, is what you gonna what you bound to get from me. And shoot, if you really think about it, how cheap is that? Like the ticket's gonna cost you fifty. Bro, the ticket, the courtside tickets were free. You got, you got to get off that. The tickets were free. We got the tickets for free. It doesn't matter. How about this? You bought the tickets. Would I you see a table? I didn't say that. Uh, no, but I'm he's, asking, he's asking if you, you if you were to buy if the tickets, I, how would you feel? If I bought the tickets. I are would you still are you still calling them two females? I would only ask someone who wants to go to the game. Like I would have to, I have to like you and know you would like this game. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be like a random person I met yesterday. Like, hey, you want to go to? No, no. See, that's, that's if that I bought. Them. Yeah, yeah. If I bought them, it's different. But I'm saying I have free tickets. It's free. Well, let me tell you something. You get some free course side tickets again. Let me know. I don't care what sport. Hey, facts, bro. Facts. I don't care. I'm I'm right. Right. If I if I take this new job down here in Florida, if I take don't it, tell all your information, man. Don't tell all your information. We don't want folks know. Fine, bro. Everybody gets the same perks. I don't care. They don't need to know about these perks. So they're gonna hit you up. And I don't want them to be in your pocket up. before I will. And I need That's to be the saying. first okay. one in your pocket. Uh, I know. Uh, you trying to let everybody know. We'll talk. We'll talk. Hey, we'll talk. We'll talk. I heard, we'll talk. You, I heard you got that new job. I heard you got that court. I heard you got that hookup on that court side, bro. Hey, you know what I'm saying, I, bro? I, I told you forty dollars for both ticket, twenty twenty a piece for both tickets. And then, not, and then they for. gonna be like, and then time I ask you about some court side seats, well, such and such already had me about them. I said because right. your man told him about the damn job. You right. You right. You right, bro. My fault. My fault. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about me, bro. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking real, about me. y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's hey, whole business business. too good to pass up. But before we get off, man, I don't know, like, bro, this whole list was just wild and it was just stupid, and it just shows in a lot of ways, bro, like how a lot of these girls' mindsets are. And I'm about to say, like, bro, it's a lot of people on it. They, if they think this way, they're single and they getting pushed down. Or what? Not no dude is taking them serious. I can promise you that. And, the, and here's the thing, right? Spending money on dates for someone you really don't know is, to me, is spending too much. As someone receiving, I would have to say, "Yo, this is a little. This is a lot." Like, why would you want me to spend two, three hundred dollars on someone I don't know? Like, 
in your so mind, you have to tell yourself, worthy. this, you know, in your mind, you got to tell yourself, oh, this man not, may not be that great with money. Like he's spending three hundred dollars on a stranger. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but the thing is to prove to you that I'm worthy. But who said you worthy? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Bro, if money's the I only ain't gonna thing, lie, bro. I I that's why I said, bro. I never did dates because I thought they were like pointless in a lot of ways. But now nah, they definitely important. Now. Yeah, yeah, I mean they, they're definitely they, important now for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah for sure. uh, relationship dates are way more important to get to know. Way, you. Way, way more important. <laughs> just you just talking about somebody, you just want to just clap. I like, bro. You just, I can promise you, I can promise you, and all three of us went to ski. Yes, sir. Well, ski is not a real place, bro. No, no, no. I'm just saying this is college. <laughs> oh, I'm just I, saying college I, in general. I, I, I'm just saying college. <laughs> Yes, ski game. Nah, it's not <laughs> a real place. Bro. It's, it's a real place. It's but a just wide, bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, if you if you can talk a good game, bro. If you just that dude, you can get. You ain't gotta do much. We know certain dudes that had to spend money, had to join certain organizations. Man, don't talk about it on here, B Sharp. Don't talk oh, about it. Oh, no, I really, if I really gotta go there, I ain't gonna go there. Some that, dudes B-Shaw, gotta spend it's a lot of them. Got to join some fraternities to get females. I ain't going to call out no names. Don't do it, B-Shaw. Oh, we we yeah. trying to go up. We trying to but, just subscribe. No, we ain't trying to go in a relationship. Then Chill then out, B-Shaw. Say, but I, it's so many names I can name. Like, bro, even with that, you join, you was on the basketball team, football team, whatever. You join this fraternity, that fraternity, or whatever. You still and got money and still can't get girls. I was driving a 98 Toyota Corolla green with no type of shots on the car for six months. Getting girls and these things riding around here in a Benz. I ain't going to say no uh, fraternity because I don't want nobody to be mad at me. Boy, in I'm a fraternity. Say, bro, you, you, you itching to say something, B-Shot. Chill out, I ain't going to do it, bro. And the man can't even get no girl, man. Some, some can but I, that's a whole nother story, man. I'm, I'm happy, happily married, man. I'm just saying, bro, you just got to call out a lot of these guys because you just make it. They just some simps, dog, just out here just spending money on women. Because what, like they say, well, one man won't, another, another man, man will. will. And that's why it's going to always get by because a lot of these dudes just going to keep spending money thinking that's just how the game well, works. I mean, well, okay, for me, right? I like dates. I I like it. So no, no, I'm not saying dude. You no, know I'm, no, no, I'm not saying it right, like that. Right. I'm, not, I'm not talking about Tuskegee. Like I said, Tuskegee is not a real place. No, no, no. Okay. I'm just, I understand what you're saying, but I'm just saying, yeah, you know, <laughs> say that, that is comical, bro. But I'm not saying no. You take a girl on a date, you a simp. Like no, I'm talking about dudes. Like, hey, let me get some money. You only, you ain't even did nothing with the girl. You know what I mean by did. All the things she doing is just talking a good game to you. Just here you go, get a little money. Be sure. Well, I mean, oh, I'm not. I I mean, like some some of these dudes taking these girls out on Valentine's Day and they going to somebody else's house that didn't hit them up all day. After man, people gonna be real sensitive I mean, when they see this episode. But y'all I hope know. they do. Cause <laughs> fats is fats over feelings. Tell them to talk. Yeah, to Here's here's the thing for the girl who uh made the post or the status, whatever. Like, what did she, she think want to first... pop up. <laughs> what did what does she think a first date should be like? Like, I I I go more creativity over financials, but you know, some people are different. Some people go more financial over creative thought. You know what I mean? So, like, what does she think? Or what what would someone think a first date should be like? How much do people think dates cost? Because dates are expensive. Like, even if we talk about the movies, we see a movie that's $15 a ticket. That's 30 I put, I that's filled cheap. up my car. To, we got 20 I, Yeah, I filled up my car to get there. That's another 30 Now we're at 60 We going to have popcorn. That's another 15 12 Now we're at 75 We getting a drink. We ain't sharing it. I just met you. That's 10 and 10 We're getting the refillable cups. 
So now we at 95. I mean, and shoot, you need just a little candy. What about the Mike and Nikes? That's five. I'm at 100. I just dropped $100 for a movie that 10 years from now, I'm not going to remember. You know what I mean? Hey, boy, you so, back tonight. I'm, I'm just saying, like, date, date ain't cheap. And even though it's a small thing like the movies, imagine if I took you to, we can even say the Cheesecake Factory. Your entree's $25, $30 off the rip. My entree's $30 off the rip. We're going to get a cheesecake. That's $10 each. We just both spent $40, $80. The drinks, it's another five. We, we, hit, we hit 100. I'm paying for the tip. And then we're gonna do something after we eat. I'm paying for that too. I'm, I'm gonna hit 200. So I just don't understand what exactly do people qualify as a like a good date. You know what I mean? Especially if you take if you have that list of things where like he can't take me here, there, here, there. Like, where do you want to go? Drake's house? <laughs> and they probably take him from you. Ain't no problem, right, right, right. He's gonna take us to a a beautiful. So now you just and and that proves my point. You just took this girl out all night, fed her, spend all your money, and she go to Drake House to end the night. And you lose. Maybe you could have been at home watching the game with your boy, probably playing the game, doing something. You could have did anything different to keep your money in your pocket. Sometimes you gotta pay to play. Hey. Sometimes hey, it's not a broke man sport. It's not a broke man sport. You want you want to be outside? You gonna have to pay sometimes. Hey man, that's, that's, why that's the mentality is. they they got right now. That's why Tuskegee is a magical place. <laughs> magical man. place, bro. Bro, if, if if this was a live stream and I said we was talking about Tuskegee, boy, it'd be a lot of dudes on here like, hey. Hey, 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 you t- you hey, accurate as hell, know, bro. Too much, cause I know this man got to do his podcast. I ain't gonna hold you too much longer. I probably get. Can you spare like three more minutes? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, man. That was I said, boy. There was a live stream. Folks was on here, but they'd be like, boy. They so start the stories. The stories just alone. The stories alone. You'd be like, what? Bro, just, just, I'm the type of person just, that I always uh, get. Get laid up on the stories. I'd be like, bro, I didn't know that. That joke could have happened two years ago. I'm doing like, bro, you ain't know that. I'm like, bro, I don't be in nobody business. So when somebody tell me, I'd be like, bro, that happened. It'd be so wild, boy. That was said. That was said. Skiggy one. Skiggy is a different place. Yeah, he is, bro. You don't have to have no if type you of financial. There, you anything. wouldn't understand. Nothing. Nothing. I just keep it like that. If you wasn't there, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> and then especially if you got homeboys that get girls. Well, man. man. The ratio yeah. was like, what, 15 to 1? It was insane. Oh, no, it was way higher than that. Oh, man. It was it was, it was damn near all girls college. That so, joint was insane. Hey, man. Only thing I'll tell you, just just to end it real quick. What what would you take a girl just to end the whole pod for the night? Where would you take a girl very quickly on a first date? Everybody got to answer. Start with you, Mark. Like bro said, I'm creative. So me myself personally, I would take my girl. Like oh, all right, we talking first date. I my first date with you, I'm trying to get to know you. So me, I would take you to a romantic park or something to walk, talk, to actually get to know you. Then we would go to dinner and possibly a movie. But like me, myself, I, my first date, my intentions is to get to know you better. Like it's not to wow you with my finances. It's not to to flex my money is for me to actually get to know the person I'm dealing with and that's my intentions and that's what I will pay to do like a, some intimate time all right all on what you got for me bro I'm quick so yeah so first date 
I I want to I want to I want to exchange words. I want us to talk. So I'm going to find something where we're in a situation where we have to talk. If I if I really don't know the girl, I may do a lunch date. Something short, quick, inexpensive. We both got to go. We're not going to eat a lot. We're not going to drink a lot. And if it's bad, we out in an hour and a half. We out. Oh, I got to go back to work. I got to do this. We out. Um, if if me and you rocking, like talking on the phone before, I'm going to find something outside of food and just find something where we can kind of vibe, talk, have some fun, a relaxed area. Um, just just something along that line. Some I'm not a big like food date person for the first date, unless it's a lunch date. But um, yeah. No, I'm saying for me, it would just be like how what I uh did with uh Sarah for the most part, bro. I just reservation. But, yeah, reservation. <laughs> but but the thing is, bro, I ain't never did that with like nobody. So, really? but at the same time, I ain't really? going on date. So, and I didn't know she was special at the time, but I just did it because I was like, man, she seemed like a cool girl. I want to get to know her, her or whatnot. And then we went went there. We was already talking, but went on that uh, date to the Italian restaurant, went to the movies, got a kiss at the end of the night. Cause I'm home. There you go. Now I'm <laughs> <there now. laughs> but no, nah, man. Yeah, that that's just something simple, man. Something like that. I don't know, but I can promise you this: it'll make it a whole lot easier. Go for the girl that likes you. Then go oh, for the girl that you want. Yeah, you got. You got it, it, like it, like it, sound, it sounds so simple, but trust me, a lot of dudes go for the girl that <laughs> that they want. Will Smith. That thank you, Bing Bing B. <laughs> like, bro, go for the girl that wants you because it makes things a whole lot easier. If people just talk to the people who value them, oh my god, it's it's so simple. But trust me, bro, folks are not that smart <laughs> to just figure that out. It's just that simple. Because if a person values you, they're willing to work with you and compromise and help you, and y'all build something instead of. A person who sees you as as a benefit, a, a, a benefit with just mooching off of you and feeding into what what you got to do for them. See, yeah. I rather I rather build a relationship with a person who we can compromise, we can work together, we can we can solve problems together and and get where we need to be. Hey man, like my like Mike Jones used to say, man, back then, then woman, now I'm hot, they all on. I like you, like you. Him, now she still don't want him, and it's just bad for Will Smith. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, as always, man, appreciate y'all for all y'all support, man. Appreciate y'all helping. As always, one one thing I don't usually do that I, I'm going to start doing throughout the rest of the pod is uh telling guys to shout out. They social medias and all that stuff. I put it down in the handle. I mean, uh, not the handle, the uh, description for uh, every pod. But, Mark, you tell the people how they can reach you and oh, shout man. out your We pod. are on YouTube on The Coolest Pod 23. Please like and subscribe. You can also find us on all your podcast streaming sites. We are the Water Cooler Talk Podcast, the coolest podcast in your ear. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my boy Nick. He had he didn't make it today, but hey, we coming. Oh, and oh, appreciate it, Richard, man, for opening up your platform for me to partake in. This is my my long friend from Skiggy Four Six representing. Man, we go way back, man. And I appreciate oh, you yeah. allowing me to come on your platform and act a fool with you. Yes, sir. All on what you got for me. Yeah, man. You can find me on Facebook. Just search my name, Arlon Williams. You can find me on IG, searching the handle ESG underscore AEA underscore DCS. Um, you have legal questions, hit me. You have sports questions, hit me. 
if there's something you want to hear us talk about on the pod, hit me. There you I go. know you gotta come on our show, man. We need you, bro. I tried to get him on last week. Man. I missed last week, man. I I would have been on that last week, but uh, of course, y'all, y'all see my name up yeah, there, B underscore Sharp. That's my uh Twitter name. Well, it's whatever they want to call it now. And if you add a five to the end of it, that's my Instagram name. Appreciate y'all supporting the pod. Make sure y'all uh follow us on Sharpshooters podcast make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all follow us on tiktok at sharpshooters podcast we trying to just keep growing and we're gonna definitely keep collaborating with the water cooler talk guys the my oh, guys yeah, definitely for sure and uh, family i always like to end it with a roll tide but it was oh, something no, we doing that the episode though not while i'm on here but no 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 roll tide for one but uh <laughs> i want to end it the way I wanted to uh, start the uh, NBA opening night. And it was something that we did last week, dog, with the That's all they're going to be seeing this year from Brun. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>